Okay, so let's take a quick look at the WL Toys 929 <coughs> quad rotor. Uh, this is a pretty cool toy grade quadcopter. Uh, it's in their WL Toys normal size as opposed to their kind of micro sized 939, which I've also done a review on. And incidentally, the 929 is almost identical sidewise as the Saima uh, X1 quadcopter. So that one couple differences. Uh, I've flown them both quite a bit and I will try to go over the two to see if I can help you make a uh, decision as to which one would be better for you. Uh, performance wise these things are about a little bit more difficult to fly than a coax helicopter but not quite as difficult to fly as a fixed pitch helicopter. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to charge up the battery. The 929 comes with one battery that gives it almost 10 minutes of flight time, more like about 7 or 8 minutes. Um, incidentally, one of the things I did like better about the 929 over the Saima helicopter is the battery. This just has, a, you know, plugs into a battery with a lead adapter, whereas the Saima has kind of a special uh, proprietary fit battery which you can get around it. I've bought some aftermarket batteries that fit in and work quite well, but just a small, small item. I did like the, uh, like I said, the 929 a little bit better in that regard. You can pair the 929 with something like Eternity Radio, uh, or you can use the out-of-the-box radio from WL Toys that it comes with. So um, here we have the Saima radio, and over here is the WL Toys radio. I'll probably use the same video clip uh, for both of them. <laughs> One of the differences between the two are the uh, levels of granularity as to how you can control the model. The Saima just offers you high and low, which you can toggle on and off with this switch over here. So you can be in high mode or low mode. You can see a little H or a little L. And then what, uh, one of the cool things about the Saima is the uh, bumpers up at the top actually f force it into flip tricks depending upon which direction you're pointing the gimbal over here. So it's kind of a, a shortcut method to doing tricks. So this, the WL Toys, doesn't have that, but what they have is they have four levels, 20, 40, 60, and 100 as far as the configurability on the sensitivity of the controls and when you set it to a hundred on the sensitivity uh, literally pushing the joystick down in one direction in e any way will cause the thing to do a full you know like a 360 in rotation in that direction so you get the same effect um, it's probably you have a little bit more satisfaction that you're doing it yourself when you're using the WL Toys radio as when you're using the Saima radio, you just punch the button while you're, you know, pointed in a direction and the thing does the flip for you. So, it's just as easy in either radio, uh, but like I said, I do like, I think, the WL Toys radio a little bit better, having that 20, 40, and 60. Uh, when you have it on 20, there's very little control of a model at all. It's really good for beginners. 40, you get a little bit more control. 60, you've pretty much got full control, but no ability to do the tricks. And then at 100%, uh, you know, you can, can maneuver it quite a bit. And then as soon as you punch it up all the way, it's almost like it has exponential turned on. You punch it up all the way and it, uh, you know, it forces it into a flip. So very cool radios, you know, out of the box for uh, $40 models. But I still think the way to go would be to, you know, bind it to the Turnigy radio and get all the settings, you know, dialed in just where you want them. Okay, so how would I choose between the WL Toys quadcopter and the Saima quadcopter? Obviously, if uh, aesthetically, if I like the Beetle look over the UFO look or whatever other ones they offered, I would use that, that first. Uh, next, simply, I would choose the WL Toys if I liked to have a little bit more control over the, uh, you know, the transmitter out of the box. I like the fact that it offered the four different settings, 20, 40, 60, and 100. And I like the fact that, uh, you know, it didn't have the shortcut or kind of the cheap buttons for uh, doing the tricks. I like doing the tricks or at least getting the feeling like you're doing the trick yourself when in reality, you know, I think pushing the, um, 
gimbal stick all the way one direction or the other was essentially the same thing as uh, you know using the bumper on the Simon control but either way I thought that the WL Toys uh, controller was just a little bit better and I think I would go that route so hope you enjoyed it and please leave comments